Automating ArcGIS. In this section, we'll learn about options for automation and reproducibility in ArcGIS. We'll also learn how to automate map production with data-driven pages, use Model Builder to perform a basic suitability analysis, and finally access ArcGIS tools using Python scripting. Options for automating tasks in ArcGIS. In this video, we'll discuss the benefits of GIS automation. We'll also discuss the benefits of workflow documentation and get introduced to options for automating tasks and documenting workflows in ArcGIS. We've all probably been there. You're packing up, you're getting ready to go home for the day, and your boss drops by your office and says, I can see that you're getting ready to go home, but if you could just get me a custom report for every client before you leave, that'd be great. Of course, this is not the kind of thing you want to hear if you're getting ready to go home for the day. However, if you have the right tools in place, and you have a report template or a map template in place, you can set up a workflow for making the computer automate those kind of tasks, allowing you to get out of the office in much less time than it would take to go through and create all of those reports or maps manually. In your jobs, you'll often have to do the same thing over and over again. For example, making the same kind of map for different study areas, or churning out different reports that have the same format but for different clients. However, if given a coherent set of rules, computers are very good at doing this kind of thing. They can repeat similar tasks over and over again. Humans, on the other hand, are error-prone. They will get tired. Their minds will wander. Beyond this, by setting up a workflow for automation, you can save yourself a considerable amount of time. We'll be illustrating this in this video series with data-driven pages, which is functionality within ArcGIS for creating automated map books. Beyond this, you'll likely want to set up a reproducible workflow, a workflow that can be used again and again and modified as needed if you have to do similar tasks in your job. The point-and-click workflows that are commonly associated with GIS tasks can be intuitive for the user. However, a point-and-click workflow is difficult to reproduce, as generally speaking, you don't have a step-by-step -step record of the tasks you completed, or even the tools you used, or the processes that you followed. An alternative is to document your GIS workflows with some functionality inside of ArcGIS, specifically Model Builder or Python scripting. Model Builder is a visual programming language that ships with ArcGIS that allows for the creation of geoprocessing models. In this example, which we'll explore a similar example in a video that's coming up very soon, we see a potential land use site suitability analysis workflow in which we might find suitable areas for the location of transit-oriented development. These use tools that are found in Arc Toolbox and can be executed by going into the graphical user interface, finding the requisite tool, and running it point-and-click style inside of ArcGIS. However, with Model Builder, we can set up an entire workflow from layers to output layers to tools used that not only allows us to document our work, but also allows us to reproduce it and use it again later or modify it if need be. Another common option for reproducibility and automation in ArcGIS is Python scripting. And along with that, the site package for Python that ships with ArcGIS, ArcPy. Python is one of the most popular open source programming languages out there used in applications from website development to data science to notably GIS. Python is the language that you'll use to script your GIS workflows. And the ArcPy site package includes a wide range of functions for automating and calling GIS functionality within Python. We'll explore some of this functionality in an upcoming video.